But I want to talk a minute about the realtor situation. So um, I've been with my current realtor for seven months. At the six month mark, I was like, hey, you know, um, usually realtors do like a six month contract. So is our contract up because like it hasn't sold in six months and I think it's time to pull it and go a different route. Um, I learned that we were in a 12 month contract a little while back, but I just wanted to see what she would say on that. <clears throat> and of course, you know, no, we're in a 12 month contract, blah, 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 blah. In the contract, it specifically stated that if I terminated the contract before the term, um, then I would owe 10% of the listing price to her for her efforts of selling it, which I argue that there weren't very many efforts of trying to sell it, but that's a different story. Um, so yeah, she uh, agreed to end the contract without the, the, the fine or the fee or whatever, and um, that worked out great for me. So I had that in writing that she agreed and then she sent me paperwork which outlined like no early termination fee and all that so we signed it and uh, good to go it's not technically how it went but that's the gist of how it went how it really went was a month ago um, I texted her this information and told her I wanted to pull the listing and um, she kept trying to buy another week every week I want to buy another week Oh, I've got someone looking at it. They may be making an offer. I've got two people looking at it. I'm hoping they'll make an offer. You know, I got one who's interested in making an offer. Well, why hasn't she made the offer then? If she's interested, she would make the offer. Um, and so we, we eventually got to the point where last week I was like, yeah, that no one's made any offers. It's been listed for now seven months. I've received two offers total since I listed it. Um, so no, that's not going to work. And um, so yeah, finally got her to send the paperwork over to pull the listing. And when I signed the paperwork, she still didn't pull the listing. Um, I'm still seeing it listed on Realtor as of right now. Uh, my new Realtor says that she can see it in the MLS. It's not listed as of right now, but it is temporary off market, meaning that she's still holding on to it. It's not ready for another realtor to pick up and list so um yeah i just love when people do that they just sit right there so like you can't get back over you can't do anything i've got my signal on but they're just gonna sit right there that's how you do anyway <laughs> so um Long story short, she finally sent me the paperwork to sign to, you know, end the listing, terminate it, whatever. Cool, we did that. Um, and then she didn't release it, so my new realtor couldn't pick it up and list it. So it's like, cool. Uh, I think they finally figured it out. My, my new realtor called her and told her, you know, this is what's happening, and I guess she released it. I don't really know. Um, what I do know is the new realtor sent over the paperwork today to sign for the listing so that's cool um so it is technically under contract with a new realtor um but i will say that i am already happier because the the first realtor put me under a 12 month contract at 10 percent uh so she would take five percent to the buyer's agent and five percent to the seller's agent but she also slipped in that she could be a dual agent and get the full 10% if she's the buyer and seller's agent. Um, so yeah, that was cool. <laughs> the new real estate agent has agreed to a three month term and uh, is doing 6%, three to the buyer's agent, three to the seller's agent. And she did ask if she could be a dual agent. I agreed to that, that's perfectly fine. Um, so, you know, 6% allowed me to immediately knock about $10,000 off the price and still be within my comfortable range, which is good. Um, so yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I do actually end up getting some offers this time around. And if those offers are too low, then I'll just tell them no. But, um, you know, at least it's maybe, maybe. Um, I noticed on Realtor that 
the listing has been saved two times this week. Now, I didn't save it. My new realtor may have saved it. Um, but if there's potentially two people saving it, uh, that could be two people wanting to look at it or two people asking questions about it. And um, my old realtor never said anything about people, you know, asking about it or anything like that. So I, I don't know. I Maybe the communication wasn't there. Maybe there was other issues. I don't really know. Um, but what I do know is we're going to try a different realtor. I've had multiple people tell me that I needed a new realtor. Apparently they had used this first realtor uh, in the past trying to sell their homes and it was kind of the same story. Never got it showed, never had any offers, never anything. And um, they eventually went a different route and sold it almost immediately. Um, I know one of the people that I talked to said that uh, they had their house listed with her and they had an agreement that she was supposed to bring, you know, let them know that when she's bringing someone to look at the house that they could tidy it up and get it ready for them. And they said she just showed up one afternoon and with, with the people to look at it and no notice, no nothing. And the house was an entire mess and they wouldn't let her in. They're just like, nope, you can come back another day. You're supposed to let us know when you're bringing someone. So, um, yeah, I, I've, I have cameras on the property. I can see who comes and goes. She's been down there all of three times, uh, in the past seven months. She went there originally to take pictures. She went there again to show the property to someone. And then, um, I, I complained about there not being a for sale sign in front of the property. So she went down there to put the for sale sign up and I seen her on camera doing that. Uh, that's it. That's the only three times I've seen her at the property. As of now, I have not seen her come get her sign, uh, which she may have by now. I just haven't looked, but um, I'm getting a more pro you know, bigger problem that I'm focusing on right now, which is people going down there and driving through the grass. Why? Why are you driving through the grass? What's the point? <laughs> uh, the grass is dead. I've showed it to you guys. It's it's dead, and. When people go driving through it, you're not helping it. You're only further killing it. It will not come back if you keep driving over it. Uh, I was hopeful that with all the rain we've gotten recently that it would come back, but it some of it is. But mainly the part where people keep driving, it's not coming back. So, we'll see. Um, I, I agreed to do a three-month contract with the new realtor, and hopefully, hopefully we'll get some offers. I have a bottom dollar that I'm not willing to take anything less, and that's just where I'm at. I know that I probably won't get offers where I want them to be initially, um, and hopefully she's able to find a buyer within the next three months that will agree to my pricing. But if it doesn't sell, I think I'm going to move forward with the other idea that I talked to you guys about, which is the RV park idea. Um, it's not going to be cheap to set it up. It's going to be a big hassle to try to put it on a credit card to get everything set up, but hopefully it will be profitable once it's open. And, um, you know, we can, this might be an RV park here, but I don't really know. I mean, it, it just looks like a big place to park a bunch of RVs. Like I don't see an office. I don't see, um, hookups and none of that. It looks like it's just a big field where they maybe rent parking spots. Uh, mine's going to be focused more on you know actual people renting the spots and you know staying there hopefully tentatively we will see because I at this point I don't know uh, if I get an offer big enough for the land it's gone and I will continue with part two of my plans if not um I really hate to say that I would consider selling my truck my new truck that I just got but if I can't afford the RV, I have no point in having the truck. And if I go the RV park idea, I could pay off my credit cards with selling that truck. And um, that would be nice. <laughs> I, I, you know, the whole point of selling the land was, you know, it's, it's way more money. Uh, it's pay off the credit cards, pay off the truck, uh, buy the RV and, and do some traveling. Whereas, um, if I 
sell the truck, now that entire plan's out the window again, and I don't have a future plan. And yes, I'm going to have some income coming off that property once it's ready, but I mean, I guess it wouldn't bring me completely out of credit card debt because I still need 30 grand to set up the RV park. So I would probably pull 30 grand out of that and only put the rest toward my credit cards and still be 30 grand in debt. So it's not even a foolproof plan. And the hope is, yeah, maybe I'll start making four grand a month off the property when I start renting if I can get full, full capacity. If, all these are big ifs. Um, if it works out, great. But if not, <laughs> um, it's a big investment for basically nothing. So I don't know. We'll just have to play it out and see. See what happens, I guess. Um, I'm going to try plan A, which is I'm giving it three more months to try to sell the property. If there's any indication that there's someone looking at the property, someone maybe has offered and I've been negotiating with them or anything like that, um, I'll extend the contract. I'll do three more months. We'll, we'll let it play out and see where it goes. But if there's no indication, no offers, no nothing, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the listing and um, explore my next options of doing the RV park, which I think, like I say, it could be profitable. I just don't know. There's no guarantee. But I mean, you know, that's the way business works. That's the way life works. If you're not willing to take the risks and take the chances, you'll never know. You'll never know if it works or not. And um, you don't, you don't accidentally stumble your way into a million dollars. You've got to work for it. You've got to, you've got to grind for it. You've got to try out of the box ideas that may not work. And um, I think this is just a chance that I'll take. If it doesn't work out, you know, I can still say, well, now the property has a, a well on it for water. So at least it's worth more than it was because it now has a well on it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. I'm going to go to Walmart now. <laughs> see you guys later.